Hi, I'm Dr. Mimi Guarneri, and I'm sitting right now at Pacific Pearl La Jolla, which is where my office is. People ask me every day, what's the difference between seeing you as an integrative cardiologist or integrative medicine and conventional health care? As a cardiologist, I was trained to take care of people after they become ill. So, for example, if someone has diabetes, making the diagnosis and prescribing a medication or high blood pressure or high cholesterol. Western medicine, the kind of medicine that I learned in medical school, also called conventional medicine, is great for acute care. Uh, if someone has a heart attack, a stroke or a car accident, absolutely you want to be in the best Western medical center. But where do we fall short? Well, I can tell you we fall short in prevention of disease. We fall short in creating health. That's where integrative, holistic health comes in. When I practice as an integrative health practitioner, I'm looking at the underlying cause of a disease or of a health challenge. Why does someone have diabetes? Why does someone have high blood pressure? Why is someone depressed? And when I know that why, I can then put together a program based first and foremost in the foundation of lifestyle medicine to transform that health challenge. Let me give you an example. Uh, when I was in the conventional world and I didn't understand integrative holistic medicine many years ago, if someone came in with diabetes, I would say, here's your list of medications. Now, as an integrative cardiologist, I say, let's take a look at your entire life. What's causing you to have diabetes? Is it stress because your cortisol is high? Are you not sleeping enough hours at night? Is it related to carrying extra body weight or not exercising? Let's look at your micro and macro nutrients. So that's the holistic integrative health approach. It begins with lifestyle medicine. If someone has a particular health challenge that can benefit from the wisdom of other global healing traditions, I work interprofessionally with a team of other providers. Let me give you an example. If someone has back pain, which is very common, I will probably say, let's have you see our chiropractor, or let's have you have acupuncture and some massage and some body work, instead of right away saying, let's go off and get an MRI. Nothing wrong with the MRI, but it doesn't get to the underlying cause of the problem. Maybe it's related to inflammation from how someone is eating and so on. So integrative health is really about health creation using the wisdom of the global healing traditions as well as using the wisdom of good old-fashioned conventional medicine. It's all connected.